Welcome to this demonstration of an Arduino based LFO plus ADSR controlled through Max for Live from Ableton. For the uh, sound source in this demo, we're going to use the Juno 106. Um, we're going to go through the fantastic Chipman EBA and flute filter. We're only using the first stage, and then after that, go to the Strymon uh, Big Sky. The LFO is generated in the Arduino Duis itself. We're having their, the, uh, we're modulating the frequency and the resonance, and also we're generating just a simple saw wave to control the synchronize the LFO of the uh, Chipman. The parameters of the LFO and the saw wave, they're all controlled uh, from Ableton through the Max for Live interface that you see here on the top. Uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. I'd say we have synchronization part, then there's the DAC0 and DAC1, and on the right-hand side, the ADSR section. All right, now, one thing I wanted to note about the Arduino Do itself is that it has only a two volt uh, voltage swing, and that doesn't get you really far with analog synthesizers. So I amplify this here to five volt voltage swing, uh, and uh, I saw actually later on that the Chipman already accepts all the way up to 10 volts, but with five volts, you can really do a lot already. Let's have a look uh, what, this, uh, what this thing does. I now throw on first the saw wave. Uh, we can change the waveform as well to a triangle or cosine or square. And we can change the amplitude, throw on a bit of an offset, and change the phase. So let me just show you the phase as well. And of course, need a reference wave for that. Uh, let me throw this to a square. And when I change the phase, you'll see them shift with respect to each other. All the way to 360. All right, going back, let me put this thing off again. Now, we do have an ADSR as well. So ADSR, of course, pretty straightforward, um, just uh, uh, the standard shape, but it becomes more fun when you combine the two. So let me just throw this up, uh, high frequency over, over here, um, and perhaps a sine wave and do the same thing. And now we see that we overmodulate the amplitude of the LFO with the ADSR. Uh, or if it just want to have it single sided, it can throw off the offset and throw on a bit more amplitude. And then you'll see the standard ADSR pattern again. All right, now let's have a listen what this thing does with just a reference track. Of course, you shouldn't forget to re enable all the automation that I've just been messing around with. And in this track, we're going to just uh, mess, especially with the sync rate. Um, and I just have just a, a synthesizer and a bit of drums. So here we go. That's about it. I hope you liked it. Um, happy to share the code, but I do have to say it's a bit of a mess at the moment still, so I'll clean it up and then post it later. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.